Some Counter-Strike players may have noticed yesterday's over 1 gigabyte update that of course didn't add anything new, but is continuing to fix all the little bugs and errors people are finding. To be honest, there's not enough here to make a video on like normal, but sometimes when Valve drops new updates, it leaks what else they're working on too. And that's exactly what happened again. It looks like there's a mention of a new weapon case that seems to include skins from the Revolution case. I'm a little confused by this because it seems like it's all the same skins but with this new CS2 tag. But when mentions of a new case like this show up, it normally means one is coming soon. On top of that, mentions of the 2024 service medal are appearing even though there's no models to expose what they look like yet. And most exciting, the Kukri knife has been added to the game files, which means it will most likely be coming in whatever this next new case ends up being. I know some people are really hyped for this, but some people also really hate it. So today I want to take a look at it in game, not only as just a vanilla skin, but with other skins Valve could be dropping for it as well. Before I get into it all, I need to pay for food, so let me give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with CSGO skins. Say you want to upgrade some of your current skins, this would be the perfect site to do it with. You can also straight up buy skins too, and with their 35% deposit bonus plus my code, it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with. There's even free giveaways and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site to help you get even more skins. Get $5 for free now with my link in the description below. All right, with that all out of the way, it is important to remember that we've known about the Kukri knife for a while from other leaks, but the reason why it's such a big deal now, and the reason why I'm making content on it, and probably as well as other people, is because it's actually been added to the items in game file. That alone basically confirms this knife is going to be added to the game sometime soon. But besides this too, there are mentions of multiple skins for it already. So like in this screenshot here, you can see tags like purple and tiger underscore orange. Most likely these are referring to the ultraviolet skin and the tiger tooth skin. Because then you see tags like Damascus and Marble Fade that follow that. And those are obviously knife skins already in the game. If I hop on over to Onipixel skin inspect servers, he actually has the ability to be able to inspect these in game. So right here, as you can see, we've got the ultraviolet version or at least what it could look like of the Kukri knife. Now, I believe it's just using the normal M9 beta animation, so these aren't unique to the Kukri yet, but this is literally what the ultraviolet could potentially look like. It honestly is really, really clean on it. We were also talking about the tiger tooth as well, so that's what this thing could potentially look like, and with the Omega gloves, damn, this thing looks actually really, really good. I'm not gonna spend too long on these because we do already know what the skins look like for the most part, but following those two, we can take a look at and see what the Damascus steel would look like, and this thing also looks really good. All these skins look really, really good in CS2. I love the reflection of the Damascus skins, but honestly, I like this one a lot too. If they end up doing a Marble Fade Kukri, this thing's gonna look so insane, but I gotta say, I really hope there's a good Fire and Ice pattern for this, because you guys can see right there, there's kind of a Fire and Ice pattern happening, besides that little bit of yellow towards the bottom of the blade, but dude, this thing... This thing looks so cool, even though the play side's a total piss gem. Now, besides those that we did already mention in the video, there's other skins too that were mentioned in the code that could potentially be coming for this skin too when it is released, like the rust coat right here. And everyone knows the rust coat's not that crazy special of a skin, but this is what that could look like potentially. There's most likely going to be Doppler skins for the Kukri too, and this is a phase one right here. I personally really, really hope they add Doppler skins. And I know like, yeah, it's not that special. It's not that new, but... Dude, you can't tell me this doesn't look insane. Like the Doppler skins in CS2 are just looking so beautiful. Like take a look at a phase two, for example. Look how insane this looks with all these pink colors. And I, I don't even know how to describe this thing. It just looks insane. Phase three and four do look pretty similar, but this is a phase three example. Pretty, pretty cool. You can see a little bit of green there, green or aqua towards the top of the blade, I guess. And then a phase four right here. This one's just a lot of blue with a little bit of black. Like I said, it looks exactly the same in my opinion, but also really, really cool. Now, if Dopplers are added, that of course means there's going to be the gems so right here we have the ruby and god damn i mean the ruby is one of my favorite skins in the game by far but with this massive kukri blade dude this is this is legendary looking follow that with the sapphire the sapphire everyone knows the sapphire it this thing looks a little bit aqua in some of the lightings more than it does like blue or purple actually i see a lot of different colors in this but this thing also looks crazy too and lastly here of course we got to take a look at a black pearl example this thing I mean, you either love or hate the Black Pearl. I personally am not like the biggest fan of it. It's it's an okay knife to me. I like the Ruby or the Sapphire more, but dude, also a very cool looking skin. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think of the Kukri knives down in the comments. I'm really curious to see what people's opinions are on these things, especially after we take a look at some of the skins in games. So uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about this thing. Anyways, with all that said, if you did make it this far in the video, that's about gonna wrap it up. So definitely make sure you guys drop a like and of course subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, now whatever video YouTube's showing you on your screen, it thinks you might like. So do me a favor and go check it out.